Right, now adding an affiliate product is actually very simple, but you would want to put a lot more information on the product page. Now what I have done is I found a course that does have an affiliate program. So in fact, I could be promoting this course on this blog if I wanted to. And it's this course right here. So if we scroll down the bottom, become an affiliate. All right. Now, so what I have done here is I've just copied and pasted some of this stuff. But if I signed up as an affiliate, I would look for the promotional materials that they've got. And if they don't have a lot, I contact them and say, what can I use on my blog? What information can I put on there? And what can't I use? Okay, anyway, and I'm going to edit the meta description. I'm just going to take a bit here. And I'm just going to do the exact same. I'm going to choose the sidebars here and we'll see what it looks like like that with this normal layout that I've got on the rest of the blog. And this is product type. It is this time an external affiliate product. Now here we want to enter the product URL and this would be your affiliate URL. I'm going to just take this URL here for the time being, but you would be using your own affiliate URL that you would get once you signed up as an affiliate. For the button text, you could put buy now or something along those lines or enroll now if it's a course. Or you could put something else to let them know that they're not going straight to make a purchase, but in fact being redirected to another page, something like this. Find out more. The price is right here is £119 sterling. Now here's the only downside of this. If the price of the affiliate product changes, you won't necessarily know that. You don't have any control over it. That's the only downside. Taxable, is it taxable? Well, you are not taking the payment, so therefore you are not charging any taxes. They will be charged on the affiliate product page by the affiliate vendor. You can give it an SKU if you want to, because it's an affiliate product, you don't necessarily, but I'm going to just call this AF001. Linked products, any upsells, well, that's quite difficult because they're not making a purchase on your website. So it's kind of difficult to do that. Attributes, it's an affiliate product. If you wanted to add attributes, you could do something like online, perhaps, because it's an online course. Short product description, just going to take something from the top here. Obviously, you're going to pay more attention and take more care when you are doing this for real. And now we want a product image, set product image, add new category. I'll call this courses. And I will go ahead and click publish. Let's check it out on the blog. And here we go. Clicking find out more is going to take us to the affiliate page. And that's it. All right, so that's how you add an affiliate product. Very simple. Just make sure that you put enough information on the page. There's a lot more I could put on here if I wanted to. And I would, in fact, put a lot more on it if I was actually promoting this product. Okay, so I hope these lessons have been helpful to you if you are planning to add a shop to your blog or even if you're planning to sell any affiliate products, promote any affiliate products on your blog. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now.